gave Malika and I the drinks. He himself made those drinks. He told me that I could trust him. I was like his sister. He would let nothing happen to me that night. He repeatedly asked me over and over and over if I wanted to drink. And even after telling him no several times, he still pressured me. I finally took a drink. Now mind you, I'm 15 years old. I'm a child, I'm a minor. I'm being pressured into drinking by someone who I thought I could trust. I let my guards down and I said, you know what? This is my friend. He won't let anything happen to me. I think this paperwork look official. Victim uncooperative. Hmm. Looking bad, Shy. You want to talk as if you know me because, like I say, you part of that bouffole too. You like Steven Jackson and, and Becky with the good hair. Y'all probably be at them same parties. So, Steven Jackson, I mean, uh, 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 rapist, Charlemagne the God rape case guy that uh, actually played guilty and got away with it. We're going to name you got away with it. Now, I'm going to say that was dirty talking about um, old boy's family like that. You know, especially when he said he don't even know them people, you know, like the brother or whatever. But you brought it into the situation, Charlemagne. Like, you was trying to stir up some shit. You know, I seen it. I heard it. So, this is what happens when you stir shit up. You know, if you, you got to check your past and don't look like you was living too good in your past. Now you be the judge. You watch how he went after this man. Kwame Brown was born in Charleston, South Carolina. I don't think I've ever met Kwame, but I know a lot of his family. His family lived in Moss Corner, South Carolina. His father's name was Willie Brown. I don't know how many kids Willie Brown had. I don't know how many siblings Kwame Brown got, but I went to school with his sister, and I went to school with one of his, his brothers. Let me tell y'all something. Kwame's father in the 90s, I remember this story. He beat a woman with an axe handle. It was his girlfriend. And the rumor was he buried her alive. He buried her in the area that I grew up in, if I remember correctly. I've been trying to call my dad since yesterday to, to, to confirm the whole story because I literally forgot about this until yesterday. But the, the woman died and he got arrested. Uh, if he's still alive, he's in prison for life because he got caught because he left South Carolina after the murder and came back for his paycheck. Let me tell you something else. His other brother, I don't know if him and Kwame were close, but his other brother shot his baby mama several times and then killed himself. That was like in 08. And his other brother, Kwame's other brother, just went to jail for murder like three years ago. All of this you can Google. I'm saying all that to say, leave Kwame leave alone. Him. That man has been quiet for 20 years. He don't bother nobody. Clearly all that, you know, all, all that. You want to talk about a brother that I never met? That my father had children outside of his marriage? Just like DJ Envy cheating ass? So I'm wrong because... My father had a son at the time that I never met. That's the message y'all want to put out. My daddy go to jail, so it's my fault. Because I'm going to tell you something. I really don't need to say your name because I'm going to 